Hey, good afternoon. This is Mrs. Bakul at Lincoln Center of the Arts CLC. Um, I decided to show you how to make a bandana fa a face mask. It doesn't require any sewing whatsoever, which is nice if you don't know how to sew um, or if you have needle and thread. And it's only three parts. Really easy. Okay, so here I have one that's already done using one of my bandanas, which I had washed. It's 100% cotton. And the reason that we want you to use 100% cotton is because, first of all, it's natural. And secondly, it's easier to breathe through, which is what you want to do. You want to cover your mouth, nose and mouth, and you want to be able to breathe easily. All right, so I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to show you how to make your own. All right. Okay, first of all, the three parts. You need a bandana. Any color be great. Any color that you wish. I prefer black, so that's why I have black. And I'm going to show you how to fold it in a little bit. So that's one piece, 100% cotton. Nice and clean. Then you need hair elastics or fasteners, ponytail holders. I've got big ones here because I've got a big head and I need to have a little bit more room. And I've got smaller ones depending on the child. And um, I have done this already in Spanish, and one of the things I noticed that these look like eyeballs, except for the pupils are missing. But anyhow, there you go. So you choose the size that you want. I'll show you how to put these on in a little bit. Let's get these out of the way. And then a very important part is the filter. That's the, the piece of the mask that's going to keep the, the COVID virus, uh, you know, bacteria or whatever germs, getting to you. All right, it allows you to breathe and it catches the um, particulates, particulars, I'm sorry, the particulates, okay, that's the word, particulates, all right, it's a nice proficient word, that will um, make you sick. So I've got, remember, you're locked in the house, you can't get out, here's what you do. Now, they'll show you the very best one it is, believe it or not, a vacuum cleaner bag, okay? It could be any vacuum cleaner bag as long as it's, um, made of a uh, material that catches 99% of the particulates. And that, remember, those are the things that are going to make you sick if you breathe them in. Now, I, in the, the box I bought, I did buy these, um, there were three bags and the cost was almost $10, $9.99. Uh, you're going three bags, and months. well, here's what you do though. If you buy this, because this is the best, 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 you can actually make about three or four pieces out of this by cutting out, you know, the section that you want in a nice rectangular, nice rectangular shape. Here, and here, here, depending on the size of the mask. You can probably get three to four pieces out of it or more if you're careful. This is the best, the most expensive. Another one that uh, you can use if you're really, really stuck, believe it or not, is a paper towel. Okay, here I have a paper towel, all right? I folded it up into three parts. I folded each end over a little bit to be able to fit into the mask, because that's the shape we're gonna make it in. And there you go. That's number two. And then the one that I'm actually using, again, believe it or not, coffee filters. Okay, if you have a, your parents have a, a grandma or auntie, as a coffee maker, and they use the paper filters, this is what you use. I, you can do anywhere from two to four. Uh, to make this a little simpler, I use, I'm using two of them. And what I did was I flattened out the coffee filter, and I folded it in half. Okay? All right, so now we have coffee, the filter, very important part. It's going to catch all those nasty germs. The ponytail holders. I'm going to use the big ones. And you can use smaller ones. And my scarf. All right, my bandana. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be doing some folds on this. And what I need you to do is very carefully. Whatever you fold on one side, you fold on the other side. So here, I'm folding this and I'm pressing it out. Do the same thing on this side. Press it out. One more time at the top. 
press it out on this side, press it out. Now, I'm going to take my coffee filter, the flat side, going in here, right here, and make sure it's even on both sides, hold this piece over. Take the top part and pull that over. Okay, we well got this nice long rectangular shape. Next step is feel where the ends of the filter are, about here and here. I'm going to take my ponytail holders and go from each end to the edge of the filter. Here. Alright now, to show you what that would look like if it was complete, here we go. But we got one more little thing to do to keep it secure, to keep it from falling apart. We're going to fit one end into the other end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end, you know, you got this part that opens, but then you have this part that's closed off, and I'm going to take this end and kind of fold over the corners a little bit and fit it in here. You can open it up if you want to, whatever it looks, that works best for you. Press it out and voila! Look at this. Look at this. Have your mask. Okay? Look how quickly we did that. Now, here's the thing. Yeah, you can make this at home and it's very easy, but you're not going to wear this for the next month or two. So, what you need to do is you have to change your filter, whichever you use, at least every two days and wash the, the bandana. If you have many different bandanas, then make as many as you can, okay? Um, now, you know, I've had people ask, well, what about if I don't have ponytail holders? Now, everybody wears a ponytail. Uh, ribbon, string, you know, whatever it is you got. Even if you have to um, just take the ends of the bandana after you do all the folds and just tie it around the back of your head. You, you know, like you would ordinarily if you're going <laughs> to cover your mouth and, and nose with a bandana. So, but anyway, this is, here you go. I hope this works for you. It would be really great is after you make this, or make them several for your family as well, take a picture of yourself wearing it and send it to us. Okay? Um, so, thank you so much for listening and being here. And I hope you can do this. Let us know. Um, there is a Spanish version if somebody in your family or you have friends or neighbors that need it in Spanish. Again, my name is Mrs. Bakula from Lincoln Center of the Arts. Thank you for watching.